What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Black Wolf back at it again. That's it, Roach. And we're gonna continue where we left off down this path, down this road. We're on a new island now. So let's see how things are here. Skilligan. Oops. Uh, I did not mean to pull out my sword. I don't want to start unnecessary fights. Now I'm saying. Hey there, come take a gander. Let's see what this guy's got. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. Don't really look like anything special. So long. So they bet on who them could strangle a bear. All right, Roach, let's get out of here. First lot. See any good loot? Come closer, strangers. Till he shot himself. <laughs> Run, Roach. <laughs> Stuck. My horse acting like he can't jump over these little tiny logs. Come hey on, yeah. bro. Bro. That's embarrassing. That's definitely embarrassing, bro. How you a whole horse you can't jump over tiny logs? Alright, well, let's see what's popping over here. Why can't I play today, Da? We've got to go to the port. Bid farewell to King Bronn, the man in need. Nice to hear Our time Hi. amongst. Watch it. Say was that a dead body? You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. You need not do this, child. Is madness. Such a young lass. Erna should be the one going. They shared a bed longer. Silence. It is her decision.
Wait, what? Please tell me she jumped off of that, right? No, she did not just... Nah, there's no way she stayed on that boat. What kind of ritual is that? I think I just saw her. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Uh-oh, here Garrett go. Ready to start macking again. Of Clan Twirsek has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. I guess she did stay on the that boat. will be a good day. So they they die with with the person that's like they're having the funeral for. That's crazy. You new brain. You smell wonderful. Yo, <laughs> that's crazy. They be trying to mac right away. You knew Bran. Yes, he was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Damn, man. Probably this one. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige. So predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah. Nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Oh, damn. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? Velen. Awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, she told me an elven mage had been there looking for Siri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Siri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Siri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. 
How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake. And I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I don't know I who... shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krag, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Oh nice, Choose I don't something. have to buy new ones. In the ones. meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. But I was going to say, I don't know who Geralt should end up with. Whether it's Triss or Yennefer. I don't know. Kind of seems like Triss isn't really, like, she's kind of feeling Geralt, but, like, she has her, like, reservations. Yennefer is, like, seems like she's all game. Like, she loves her some Geralt. Alright, let's, uh, change these clothes up. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Will you help for man in need? What does this guy need? Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against the rocky shore June and the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. 150? Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I'll help you out. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then. Got to be ready in time for the funeral. A crack will send us away with Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat so much. Because if you get sick, those herrings get here in trails. There'll be no hope for you. Let's grab everything off this. Shouldn't eat or drink. Notice for after though. Rebel till you drop. Why am I like jumping on everything? Come closer, stranger. Let's see what this merchant's got. Anything Greetings. good? Looking to buy? Show me your wares. Oh, it's all whack. So long. It's all whack. What in the... Hey, Bruh. Come take a what are y'all doing, man? Y'all crazy. Our valiant king. Red is our light lanterns on the wall. All must be in the next glory and order. Build your fortitude. 
But say, it's locked. How much is it getting? This has got room. She always did like space and luxury. Do I want to loot? Nah. All right, let's change these clothes up. She says she's wearing what, black and white? So I probably go with. Well, let me see them all, and then I'll decide. She's wearing black and white. I don't know. Yeah. Actually, wait, let me just see this one more time. Yeah, I kind of like the blue. Right. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? I don't know, Gary. You tell me, man. I really don't know. I'm juggling two to three women right now. Can't help you with that, bro. Friends, we show oh. our bows. We show our axe. Remember that. Who are there, Witcher? You looking for work by any chance? Man needs worries like a boat needs ballast. The sail straight and deep. Let's see what this guy wants. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diabolin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded. Guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry. None of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. I'll take the job. Yeah, why Dealt not? with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. No such thing as bad ships or bad weather. Only worthless fucking sail. Let's take Roach. Roach is chilling here. Excuse me. Ah. Yeah. That caught a turn. <laughs> Yo, what did that dude just say? Sounding wild. Let us pay homage to our horns Mr. Cliffs of Peace. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require.
Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my pension for long conversations. Why am I not surprised? Oh, Geralt. Geralt, what is that you're wearing? Didn't want to detract from your beauty. A man at a woman's side is an accessory. He should enhance her beauty. But I thank you for the compliment. See, I knew I should have put on the black one, but I don't care. I'm rocking with the blue because the blue looked better. The black one looked whack. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. We going by the tavern later, you know, get splashed. Hmm. So, what have you brought for the farewell feast? Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot. We Geralt, the there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Yes, sir. Beer gang. Lady Yennefer, sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Krak on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lugus, madman Lugus's firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls, exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Why not? Gladly. Is this a horse race? What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! I wonder if this is a horse race or on foot. We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. 
Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Shall we put okay. some coin on it, Lugos? I guess it's Actually, on foot. Dog shade idea. You never pay up. <laughs> Hurry it up, old man! Come on, girl, hurry up, bro. Or should I let her win? I don't know if she'll fit, if she'll take that more offensive, more offensively. I should be like, oh, I'm being sexist because I let the woman win. But looks like we're just gonna go ahead and win it. I won, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the wake. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. That didn't likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. To Ceres. Pass the mead and a tankard for the man. To Bran. Me want for nothing in the world beyond. To my beautiful companion. Uh oh. You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Some jealousy. Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Let's go. Doubled up, baby. Let's see, can I do anything? Not yet. Probably level 20. Oh, 22. Alright, whatever. That's the character of the legendary somber Tell me, Lucas. Alright, let's see what in the world Unifer wants to talk about. Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt? Jarl Dona and Hinda, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madman. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker <laughs> one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Damn. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the black ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouty, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Whoa, whoa, watch your mouth. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some diversion. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show Make us what anybody, you mean anybody this fool real quick. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. He need to watch his mouth. 
Level 30? Oh, snap. I'm about to get blown back. Yeah, I'm not the right level for this. At least I can still do damage. Come on. Just gotta be careful. If he could probably. Oh, snap. He could probably one shot me. Oh. I got so lucky. No. Oh man, I'm getting so lucky right now. I'm so scared though, I don't want to get hit. Dude is blocking everything. Oh. Where'd you hear that? Beat the bastard down if you don't ah. fucking well. Across the wide somber sea, I will say I must leave you behind. Just relentless attack, man. There we go. <sighs> Had enough? Ah, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction. Sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken. Forget about it. That I like. And the knocking. It's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor. Meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you but a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next. Sure, I'll knock one back with you, Lugos. Nothing wrong with having a drink in good company. I remind you we've important matters to discuss later. Matters that require a clear mind. I remember. Drink like you oh, yeah, it is my second drink. For a good time. To Bran! To Jarl Madman Lugos and his madness. Forgive us. We should mingle, talk to some of the other guests. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we'd not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. <laughs> this is her world. We're just living in it. Quicksilver solution. Footsteps. 
Uh oh. Shh. Guards. Hide behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip, while starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble, and cranes whoop. Grass peacocks screech. Hawks scream, larks trill, and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales croon. That was a close one. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> this will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermian spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia being romantic. Oh, how convenient for you. render a man mysterious fascinating especially a druid must be a real nature lover this is weird a hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods a hundred loose and arrow if you saw that in the woods looks alive Had one at Care Morin. <laughs> Please. Yes. I don't see anything else. Here we go. Ah. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. No way. I can feel them coming closer. They're everywhere. That's one less. Why are they all showing like way higher levels than me? Okay, they're not that bad. What? Lost your nerve? Strange. That's one less. Smells of mushrooms in here. Mushrooms? Bro, you're tripping out on shrooms, my guy. That's what's happening.
Dude is tripping. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Wondrous world of the letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids warns them about you. That brazen manipulator. <laughs> the sh Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. child's skull look at this a detailed map of the northern kingdoms even shows spheres of influence over the ages out of date where could this mask B goes in for light reading too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. If I was a mask, where would I be? Ermian's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Excalibur, baby. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. Yeah, where is this mask? Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Um, let's try a skull. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. Okay, how about a pine cone? What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, nothing. The mug? How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh, seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Oh, okay. Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here.
Here we go. Majora's Mask. This is it. Nah, this is Jim Carrey's. Jim Carrey's mask. We got it. We must return to the feast quickly before. Be careful now. Uh oh. There'll be nothing to. It's a trap. We're in prison. Earth elemental. Let's see. Earth. Maybe. I don't think fire is gonna do anything, but I'll try it. Okay, he's not that strong. Got a little worried there. Geralt, hear that? Smelled it. Gas. Great still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Um, uh, look around. What can we use to escape? The damn druid will no poison clue. us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Uh, we're gonna choke and die and what the kiss you right here. <laughs> what would I think about kissing her in that in that situation? Heck no. My words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. And we'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond. And must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We've no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forward. <laughs> he got the mic. My son could not be here this day. Behold his acts, behold his will. May the best man or woman win. What's got into her? 
She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to Speakerog. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ciri, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word, I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ard Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms, right on natural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You've my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Ardskelet. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes. I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back.
If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Well, now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts. Let's do it. I will see you later. Let's go. Alright, but we're gonna end this off right here. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And you can follow me on Twitch. And yeah, if you want to see more, subscribe to my YouTube. But other than that, I'll see you guys, man. Stay frosty out there. Alright, peace.